Hi there! Finally, after a long wait, we have the newly launched Mate TV 5X, the upgrade you've been waiting for. It's got a metal frame, hands free Google Assistant, a better display, a photoelectric sensor, which we shall talk about in detail, and my favorite, the new Patchwall experience. Now, this is a 55 inch 4K variant. I can't wait to check it out, and I'm sure neither can you. But before we begin, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update. Also, follow me on my social media handles for more tech info. This is your friend Texing. Let's get started. So here is the retail packaging of the Mi TV 5X. Well, actually, it comes with the Xiaomi branding. At the bottom are a long list of features and apps that the TV supports. On the side, you can see the manufacturing details and the MRP, which is 69,999. So I've said this before in my previous Mi TV unboxing videos and here it comes again. Do not open the device on your own. Wait for the technician to come and install it for you or it would void the warranty. It's clearly mentioned on the box. Alright, let's see what's inside. Inside the box is a quick installation guide and if you look towards the back, there's a warranty card with some more policy details. Then you have two metal stands, lovely matte grey finish, they're made of solid metal. There's rubber at the base, so it gets a good grip on the table. It's really nice, solid, can't complain. Then you have four screws to mount those stands. And finally, the standard Bluetooth Mi TV remote, something we've been seeing for a very long time. So you have the power button, the Google Assistant button, the D-pad, the patchwall button, back button, the Android option button, shortcut keys for Netflix and Prime videos, and the volume button. However, I would have loved to see a mute button on the remote, but you can already do that by pressing the volume down button twice. Okay, so no batteries in the packaging for the remote and no wall mount bracket. You'll have to pay 500 rupees extra for the wall mount bracket when the technician comes to install the TV. And there we go, we have wall mounted the TV so you get a better idea of how it looks if you plan to do it as well. It's got a super clean design. Here are the dimensions of the TV, might come helpful to those who have space constraints. It has a 96.6% screen to body ratio, making the bezels literally invisible. The frame is made of metal and it's a matte silver finish, giving it a very premium look. It's very, very similar to the Mi QLED TV. At the bottom is the Xiaomi branding with the mic on off button and four LED lights that turn on when you use the hands-free Google Voice Assistant. Moving towards the back, sturdy and very well built. Made of polycarbonate with that Kevlar design at the bottom, which I'm sure everyone loves. Some ports are on the side, while some are facing downwards. On the side are three HDMI ports, two USB 2.0 ports and a 3.5 headphone jack. Firstly, all HDMI ports are HDMI 2.1, which means much faster than the previous 2.0 on the Mi TV 4X series. And secondly, the HDMI 2 port supports eARC, so you can connect your Dolby Atmos supported soundbars as well. On the back are Ethernet, Optical, AV Composite and Antenna. Alright, meanwhile we set it up, here's a quick look at the specifications. A55 quad-core CPU, 4K VA panel with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels, 2GB RAM with 16GB internal storage, it comes with MEMC support, Dolby Vision, HDR10 and HLG support, photoelectric sensor, hands-free Google Voice Assistant, dual-band Wi-Fi support, and 40 watt audio with Dolby Atmos support. Alright, we are set up and ready to go. We can see the standard Android TV interface with the app row on the top, followed by the content row from popular apps including Netflix, YouTube and some more. Now the TV comes with 2GB RAM and the performance seems really good. If we go into the settings in about, we can see it's running Android TV 10. Since we're already in the settings, let's quickly check out the storage as well. It comes with 16GB internal storage and we can see 12GB available, which is good enough to install tons of apps and some games too. So let's check out the display. The Mi TV 5X comes with a 4K VA panel with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels. Now this is a 4K video streaming on YouTube. First look at it and I can say there is a drastic improvement in picture quality. Now with support of 94% DCI-P3 wide color gamut, the color reproduction is really impressive. It's more vivid and punchy. Here's a video to see the contrast levels, super bright whites and deep blacks in the same frame. The blacks really stand out. 
Talking about the brightness, well Xiaomi doesn't reveal the peak brightness levels, but still I can see that it's more than enough. The images pop and the details you can see are just amazing. Even though this is a VA panel, the viewing angles are pretty impressive. Didn't notice any drastic color shift as well. The panel supports 60Hz refresh rate and videos play overall very smoothly. No jitter, no lag. But you can take a step ahead and turn on motion smoothening or MEMC in the display settings. For those who don't know, MEMC stands for Motion Estimation, Motion Compensation, where it adds more frames between low frame content to make it look smoother. It's ideal while watching documentaries or sports content, watching cars sipping on the racetrack or watching your favorite soccer game. I'm sure you can see it's so much more smoother. Also would like to mention, we've seen a noticeable improvement in MEMC compared to its previous TVs. But if you're watching a movie or TV show, I suggest you turn the motion smoothening to standard or off for the best experience as that content is designed for lower frame rate. The Mi TV 5X has a new sensor, it's called the photoelectric sensor that automatically adjusts the screen brightness based on the ambient light in your environment. Now most would believe it only adjusts the brightness, well along with the brightness, it also adjusts the color tones making the viewing experience even better. It works in real time, like you turn off the light in the room and it will change the brightness when you turn on, it adapts accordingly. It's hard to show you right now, but watching content is so much more easy on your eyes. Coming to the patch wall experience, well, it comes with the latest version 4.0 with many improvements, starting with IMDb integration. Right on the home page is a section for IMDb movies. With every tile you click, it shows you the IMDb ratings. You can spot it on the top left. It helps deciding on what new to watch a lot easier. I believe we will soon be seeing this feature on the other Mi TVs as well. Then we see the Mi Home app on the home center where you can control and access your Xiaomi smart home devices. Here I can see my Mi 360 home security camera. There you go, live streaming on the TV screen and you can also switch it to PIP mode and keep browsing around or watch your favorite movie while the camera streams continuously on the top corner. It's just amazing. Also with Patchwall 4.0, you can stream about 77 live TV channels absolutely free. All you need is a stable fast internet connection. Just go to the live tab and check it out. You'll find a huge list here news channels, TV shows, music, and the list is just growing. Then here are some SD channels from the set-top box which are quite decent to watch. Not sure if it supports upscaling but it's pretty viewable. Then here are SD channels and you just can't complain. They look perfect for a screen this size. I would highly recommend you use an SD set-top box for a better viewing experience. Now Android TV 10 comes with the most popular apps pre-installed like Netflix, Prime Videos, YouTube and a couple of more but you can download tons more from the Play Store. Hotstar, Sony Live, Z5 and now even the Apple TV app. Here is the Netflix app. Works really smoothly. The Mi TV 5X is Dolby Vision certified and you can see the Vision logo alongside some movies and TV shows that support it. Let's play a movie. There you go. Looks really nice. We usually see most vision format videos look darker, but here it's perfectly fine. Also tested Prime Videos app, it has a lot of HDR content which also the Mi TV 5X supports. There you go. It's a delight to watch true HDR content on this panel. Also here's a short gameplay experience of Beach Buggy which you can download from the Play Store. Great graphics, smooth animations, some games will work with the TV remote while some would need a gamepad. Console gaming enthusiasts can also definitely consider this TV. It comes with HDMI 2.1, so super fast transfer speeds and it also comes with ALLM, auto low latency mode with low input lag, making it ideal for gaming. But remember, this is a 60Hz display, so there will be some limitations. Then the TV comes with Bluetooth 5.0, so you can connect your favorite pair of wireless headphones and enjoy the experience. Mirroring fans can rejoice because Miracast is baked in as well. Just turn it on, go to the cast option on your Android phone and there you go, works really well. There is a slight delay but almost no lag at all. Here's a video mirroring from my phone and it works very well. 
the hands-free Google Assistant makes a comeback from the 75-inch Mi QLED TV. It's a very handy feature. Check this out. Just say, OK Google, ask it to open apps of your choice. Open Netflix. Ask it to mute the TV. OK Google, mute the TV. OK. Or even turn ask it to turn TV. the TV off. It worked perfectly from the distance of 5 to 8 feet. Also, in case you have privacy concerns about the mic always being on, there is a physical button at the bottom to turn it off. Easy peasy. Alright, coming to the sound. So it comes with 40 watt audio output with Dolby Atmos support. Here's a quick demo. <laughs> So the sound quality was pretty impressive. Good audible bass, clean mids and crisp highs. The audio experience was really amazing. And that's because the speaker cavity on the Mi TV 5X is a lot bigger than most TVs, giving it a wholesome richer sound. Alright, so it has everything you wanted from a good display, good sound quality, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, Android TV OS, all the apps, hands-free Google Voice Assistant, all the necessary ports, including that HDMI 2.1 with low latency mode for gaming and super premium build. Man, this metal frame is just wow. Easily recommended if you're looking for a premium Android Smart TV. It's available in three sizes, 43 inch, 50 inch and 55 inch. All exact same specs and features, except that the 43 inch comes with 30 watt sound output instead of 40. Here are the prices, 31,999, 41,999 and 47,999 respectively. Yes, they've got a little pricey, but for the quality and features, trust me, it's a very good deal. By the way, you can buy these starting 7th of September on me.com, Flipkart and the Me stores. I'll leave the links for all in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. A detailed review is coming soon, so make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss that one. Also, if there are any questions or feedback, mention it down in the comments. I probably will include them in the review. Until next time, cheers. Thank you.